Hello friends, I am Krishna Kanjani from LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. Welcome to the online lecture series on kinematics and theory of motion. In today's session, we will learn about introduction of this subject. Okay, so let's start with the introduction of this subject. So, this subject is named as kinematics and theory of machine. So, it is divided into mainly two parts that is kinematics and theory of machine. It, it is termed as KTOM also and the subject code of it is 3131904. This subject is a part of syllabus in third semester of mechanical and automobile engineering and it is a part of syllabus in degree engineering of Gujarat Technological University. Okay, so let's start this subject with the basic of why we need to learn this subject. It is mainly a branch of science in which we will study the relative motion between two components of machine parts. Okay, so this will help you to understand that how the relative motion between different components of different machine parts are actually existing. And the second fundamental of it is to study the forces which are responsible for this motion. Okay, so let's understand this with one example that over here in this diagram you can observe that it is a reciprocating IC engine. This topic you have learned in your second semester. Okay, so this is a basic diagram of reciprocating IC engine. Over here the first component which is rotating is known as a crank. The second component which is oscillating is termed as a connecting rod and this connecting rod is connected with the component which is reciprocate inside one fixed frame which is known as a cylinder and the reciprocating component is known as a piston. So over here you can identify that the each and every component is having relative motion compared to the other component. Okay, so in this subject, we will learn that how the different types of motion can be produced and the these type of motions which help you to develop various outputs. Okay, now the second part of this subject is the study of forces which are responsible for this reciprocating or rotary motion. Okay, so in this way, we can consider various applications and from this various applications you can you will be able to identify that which type of motion is occurring and how we can produce these different types of motion. The first answer for this will be the you will be able to understand the basic structure and elements of machine. So over here in this example as you have referred there is various elements such as crank, connecting rod, piston and cylinder. You are able to understand that this component will be termed as a crank, this component will be termed as a connecting rod. This will help you to understand the behavior and function of the various machines. Then second output of this subject will be identification of functional characteristics of different elements. Okay, so the second one that why we are terming it as a crank because it has complete rotation. So any component which is able to produce complete rotation that component is known as a crank. So over here we are able to identify that the, the function of this first component is to produce complete rotation. Okay, so in this way you will be able to identify various functions of various elements. The third output of this subject will be able to understanding about the various positions, velocity and acceleration of different parts. Okay, so over here at which input speed you are rotating your crank and that input speed will produce how much reciprocating speed of your piston that you will be able to learn with the help of this subject. Okay, in this subject we will be also learning about the basic fundamental of friction. So after learning it you will be able to understand that why friction is required in day to day life and we will learn various application of this friction in various mechanical components. Okay, so let's learn the syllabus or we can say course outline of this subject. So in this subject we will be learning the first chapter which is known as the introduction of mechanisms and machine. Okay, so over here in first chapter you will be introduced with various mechanisms and machines. For example, this first example, that example of a bicycle. Now we are using this bicycle in our day to day life. But this is the best example of mechanism. Because over here we are giving our input as a mechanical rotation and we are getting again our output as a mechanical that is a linear motion of our vehicle. 
Okay, so in this way we can term this component is the best example of mechanism. Then we will be able to understand the machines. For example, the second component, the second image is an example of beam engine, and this beam engine is widely used for oil extraction. Okay, so over here you can learn that how we are giving input to this complete uh, rotation of crank, and this complete rotation of crank will help you to develop the reciprocation of this piston and cylinder. Okay, so these are the basic examples of mechanisms and machine. You will be able to understand various kinds of mechanisms which we are using in our day to day lives so in second chapter we will be learning the graphical and analytical linkage synthesis now over here the synthesis means the designing of new component okay so over here you can refer that in first chapter we have learned various mechanisms such as four bar chain mechanism or single slider mechanism now in second chapter we will try to design this mechanism or simply i can say that you will be able to find out the length of various components such as crank and connecting rod and this piston okay so you will be able to uh, learn that how we can identify length of various elements of your mechanism okay so that will be a part of your second chapter and in third chapter you will be learning about the velocity and acceleration analysis okay now over here analysis it means that you are analyzing any existing mechanism now whenever you want to design any machine component you have to identify that which type of forces are produced in that mechanism and to understand that uh, fundamental of force you have to identify the velocity and acceleration of that component okay so in this way in first three chapter we will be learning purely various types of mechanisms and how we can design that mechanism and to design that mechanism what we need as a calculation for velocity and acceleration now after learning this first half then in second half we will be learning fourth chapter that is of cam okay so now this component is widely used to develop desired motion okay so over here you can refer in this first image that if you want to produce reciprocating motion of this component okay so your input motion is rotation so over here you can refer that while we are giving input to this cylinder this rotation of cylinder will help you to produce reciprocation of this upper half okay so in this way you can produce or you can develop desired motion okay in this second figure again you can refer that and to develop the vertical reciprocating motion of this follower you will give input to this cam component okay so over here the shape of the cam which is slightly we can consider as a elliptical shape okay so due to this elliptical shape it will produce the reciprocation in your follower then in next chapter that is chapter number 5 we will be learning about the bait rope and chain okay these three component are mainly used for power transmission purpose then in chapter number 6 we will be learning about the fundamental of friction and how this friction is useful to develop the component which are known as a clutch and brake okay so in chapter number 6 we will be learning the basic concept of friction and this concept of friction will help you to understand the function of clutch the function of clutch is mainly to engage and disengagement of driving and driven shaft okay so to smoothly engagement and disengagement of driving and driven shaft you will be learning that different types of clutch which are used in applications now in third component that is brake as you can refer this diagram okay over here so when you are pressing your pedal or you are applying force on your pedal your rotating component will be stopped now after learning this components now the last chapter of this syllabus is gears and gear train okay now gears is again used for power transmission purpose okay so over here in this chapter you will be learning different types of gears such as spur gear bevel gear helical gear okay so over here in this diagram you can refer that the power transmission from the pinion to the gear we will learn in this chapter that how we can design different types of gears and the second half of this chapter is learning about the gear train okay now as we are aware that gears are mainly used for power transmission but now using combination of gears that is by using number of gears you can develop various types of output 
Okay, so this is an example of epicyclic gear train and sun and planet gear train. Okay, so in this chapter we will learn about the various types of gear and gear trains. First application of this subject is development of various machines. As you can refer in this diagram, this is the basic diagram of shaper machine. Now, as you can refer that to develop this machine, you have to identify that which type of mechanism is used. Okay, so over here in this subject, we will learn that how we can design this quick return motion mechanism, and this quick return motion mechanism will help you to develop the machine which is known as a shaper machine. Okay, so in this way, you can develop various machine components. Then, okay, so over here the second application that is the development of cam. So over here to develop the inlet and outlet valve of reciprocating IC engine. So how you will be manipulating the inlet and outlet valve. So this manipulation can be developed with the help of cam and follower mechanism that we will learn in our fourth chapter. Okay, then now the next application that you can develop various machines. For example, car. This car is the best example of machine. Now this car is made up of various mechanisms such as steering mechanism or we can say transmission, power transmission uh, mechanisms. Okay, so over here in this subject we will also learn about the fundamentals regarding clutch and brake which are the parts of this machine. Okay, so now as you can refer from this figure that the development of this figure that the development of gear can be obtained by using this type of arrangement. So after learning this subject, you will be able to identify that how we can shape various types of gears. For example, warm and warm wheel or we can say this bevel gear. Okay, so you will be able to understand that how you can develop these components. Okay, so these are the basic applications of this subject. Now let's learn the teaching and examination scheme of this subject. Okay, so this subject has mainly five credit, which is made up of two components that is theory component which will give you four credit and one credit can be obtained by learning practical sessions. Now examination scheme of this subject. So the first component of examination that is theory component. Now this theory component is divided into mainly two parts that is end semester examination and progressive assessment. This end semester examination is nothing but the semester end exam which you are giving at the end of the semester. And this exam will be of 70 marks and it is termed as an E component. Now the second component, the remaining 30 marks, that is a progressive assessment. So during the whole semester, you will be performing various examinations such as mid-semester examination and that will help you to obtain marks in this component. Now second phase of examination is practical session. So over here, this practical session is made up of mainly 50 marks which is break up into two parts that is 30 marks for end semester viva and 20 marks that is progressive assessment. So total 100 marks for theory component and 50 marks for practical component will help you to build up total 150 marks in this subjects. Okay. So this is all about kinematics and theory of machine. Thank you.